Stress affects all of us, although we cope with it differently. Some people can control their stress to deliver a positive outcome, but others can be overwhelmed by it. A big factor in dealing with stress is being resilient to it. Resilience describes the coping skills we develop to deal with life's ups and downs. When these coping skills aren't effective, stress gets a free ride. Think about the stress you might be experiencing right now. Which areas of your life contribute to it? Work, no question. You're not alone. A 2014 Lifeline survey of over 1,200 Australians found that 77% agreed. Well, my relationship ended recently, so probably that. Money. Well, I guess I get a bit stressed out about the unknown. About what might happen. Uh, my health. 91% indicated that they experienced at least some stress and 48% admitted that they felt a lot of stress. Many aspects of life can cause stress, but you can learn to lessen its effect on your well-being and build your resilience. Consider how you usually respond when you're challenged by stress. Imagine you've just gotten home when your manager calls, quite angry. You've forgotten to do something at the office and he wants you in early next morning to get it done. How do you react? Honestly, I'd feel so terrible and guilty that I'd probably be up worrying all night. It's natural to feel some accountability, but carrying worry to bed isn't good for your well-being. Try walking around the block or phone a friend to have a chat. Well, I'd be pretty upset that he interrupted my private time. Surely the discussion could have waited until morning. An after-hours phone call could be viewed as intrusive, but you're responsible for the work issue. Find a way to release your anger and stress. Do some physical activity or take a moment to just breathe and put things into perspective. Uh, I'd hang up and then take some time to just think it over. I, I usually chat about these sort of things with my partner. Uh, I might even make out a plan of action for the morning. That's a healthy response. You're thinking rationally and not getting overwhelmed. And a plan of action can help stop you getting stressed in the morning. I hope this has given you some insight into stress and how to build your resilience to cope with it. For our interactive module to evaluate your own stress and build an action plan, click here.